Guys, it's no secret. The hardest part about shooting any handgun is recoil management. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three simple things that you can do to help control that. So I see it in the comments quite often, people asking how to properly grip your pistol to reduce the recoil. So I'm gonna show you the way I do it and the stance and give you all the tips and tricks that I have learned over the years to help manage that recoil. Starting with an MR920 from Shadow Systems. This is uncompensated. I'm just gonna show you the difference between a proper grip and the way I grip a pistol and you guys can judge for yourself. Proper grip first, right hand on the pistol, squeeze as hard as you can. Left hand overlap that. Thumbs forward, here you go. Here's your regular recoil. Now what I do is I like to take as much of this meat on my left hand and get it as high up on the slide as possible, slide frame, whatever you want to call it, and then squeeze really tight. When it comes to a 2011 frame, it's a little bit different. You can still get that high left hand, but you got a lot of stuff in the way that your palm is sitting on. Same thing, low left hand, high left hand. Obviously this is compensated 2011, so it doesn't really recoil much at all. You can hold it with one hand and it not really move. Prodigy, obviously not compensated. It's the same concept. Here's a low left hand, high left hand. Grip also has to do with how hard you're squeezing it. If you're loosely holding onto this pistol and letting it fly all over the place, you're not gonna have as good as results as if you're squeezing this and leaning into it. So that's number one and probably the most important is a good grip technique. Here's it on the right side. Left side. All right, so number two, this is equally as important, is your stance. So if you're standing with your feet facing the target and your posture is straight up and down, eventually that recoil is gonna push you back and your muzzle is gonna start rising. Here's your demonstration. So the best way I can explain this to people is like your fighting stance. So in a fight, you want your left foot forward. This is how you're sitting in your fight stance. Do that, but grab a pistol. Same stance, pistol in your hand. Now your body's not getting pushed back. You're staying planted in the same spot. Now some people will still teach you your feet forward and then lean into it. But for me, what works is kicking out that right foot and leaning like your fighting stance. Try both ways, see what works better for you. That's just the stance that I like to take. It seems to help. So I guess step 2.5 would be to uh, train, see what works better for you. I'm a pretty small guy. If you're big, recoil management doesn't matter all that much. If you got some big old bear paws on you, that gun's not really moving a whole lot. If you got 250 pounds behind a little nine millimeter pistol, the gun's not moving a lot. But for little dudes like me, technique means everything. So that being said, uh, guy holding the camera is about 215, 220. So we're gonna let him shoot and you're gonna see the different stances for a big guy. The bigger guys don't have to have the one foot kicked forward. They can have two feet facing the target. It also helps to have a dope gun like this. So again, your stance matters a lot with how much you weigh. So if you're a big guy, you can stand like Dalton and do one of these just by leaning forward. Smaller guys, it tends to help if you're left foot forward and have something to kickstand you. For number three, probably my favorite part, accessories. I'll say accessories, I mean stuff like a compensator. Most of these guns on the table are compensated. It's 2023 and we have options for literally every handgun out there to put a compensator on it. So I'm gonna show you the difference between a compensator and a non-compensated shadow systems. So right here we got the regular shadow systems, MR920, uncompensated. I'm gonna do my grip, my stance, everything. I'm gonna try to control this as best as I can. Now right here we got the same gun, except this one's got the Radiant Afterburner on it. Supposedly this reduces recoil by 44%. Also another thing that helps quite a bit is a flashlight. Not only is it a flashlight, it also acts as a weight up front to help that muzzle flip. Here's a muzzle flip without a flashlight. So speaking of accessories, if you would like to properly learn how to install them and mix and match everything and not be dangerous about it, you should check out Sonoran Desert Institute. If you wanna learn how to become a gunsmith, go to sdi.edu, the link will be down in the description below. Also, it started snowing out of nowhere. We went inside for like three seconds to warm up. Now we got snow.
That is all we got for you guys today. It started snowing and it's getting really cold outside. But again, take all this information with a grain of salt. This is just what I do and how I shoot. This is what I have been doing for years and what I have learned to be best for me. But try it for yourself. If it works, it works. If it don't and you guys got better tips, let me know. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.